So you've got to think like that. Anju Janalahu is your master mohal coming as a mudafilihi. An Janalahu Adu. Fine brothers and sisters, what is the translation? The Prophet, peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, prohibited the Muslims from taking the Quran to the land of the enemy for fear that the enemy should harm it. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So, Makhafata, are you with me? Makhafata is a master. From where this master has come? Khafa. What is the other master from Khafa? Khaufan. So what is this Makhafata? Master Mimi. <laughs> Got the idea? Master Mimi from Khafa. Ya Khafu, this is your master Mimi. But we have to, you know, keep all these things in our mind, inshallah. And you will be able to figure them out very beautifully. Fine, brothers and sisters. That's it. Uh, this is what is the lesson about. This is the concept. We are going to read in detail the, the beautiful uh, dialogue. Now we come to a particle which is halla. <clears throat> this particle is used in verbal sentence. Remember, brothers and sisters, only in verbal sentence. Okay? Now the verbal sentence can be madi or it can be mudariya. And if it is used in madi, it has a different meaning. If it is used in mudariya, it has a different meaning. Huh? So we are going to understand it, brothers and sisters. This particle is used in verbal sentences. It is used with the mudariya to urge, to encourage. Uh, to urge and encourage. One to do an action. And with the madi, to rebuke. To express. What is the meaning of rebuke? To express disapproval. Uh, for neglecting an action. Look at the sentence, mother. Is it madi or mudariya? Mudariya. What is the madi of this verb? Shaka, shaka yashku, halla tashkuhu ilal mudiri. So because it is mudariya, it means halla will denote an urge or encouragement. Should you not complain about him to the headmaster? Or in other words, you should complain. So you are urging somebody to complain, okay? Now the same verb is in Madi. Halla shakautahu ilal mudiri. Means, brother and sister, you should have complained, you know. Why didn't you complain? You should have complained. Now this is an expression of disapproval. It's a rebuke. Huh? Should you not have complained about him to that master? That is in the Madi. Huh? That is to say, you should have complained about him to the headmaster. In the first case, it is called harfu tahdeed, the particle of arching. And in the second, harfu tandim, the particle of rebuke. The words, there are other words, brothers and sisters, Allah, Allah, Lauma, Laula are also used for Tahdeed and Tandim. In the Quran, brothers and sisters, Laula is Samiyatumuhu Zanna Al Mominuna Wal Mominatu Bi Anfusihim Khairan Wakalu Haza. If kun mubin. Laula is a samiyatumuhu. Is samiyatumuhu. And sisters. He 
Here, if you put a comma, the meaning will become even more clear. Zan al Mominuna. Okay? So Mominuna is the file and Zan is the verb. I'm doing the meaning in a little different way, brothers and sisters. Al Mominuna wal Mominat, you know, should have thought. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Within themselves, Khair. They should have thought within themselves. Khair. Are you with me? So now we go to the first line. Love la. Huh? Why not? When you heard it. Why not? When you heard it. Huh? The believers, man and woman, they should have thought good of themselves huh? and say it is an obvious lie. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? You got the idea? Huh? I, I did the translation from a different way. Zan al mu'minuna wal mu'minati fi anfusihim. They should have thought, okay, of themselves huh? with khair. Huh? Good about it. Huh? Why laula? Why when they heard it? Huh? They should have thought uh, about uh, themselves good and said, are you with me? This is an obvious lie. Huh? Got the idea, brothers and sisters? So this is also, what is it? Tandim. This is also Tandim. But it is quite uh, possible that we translate this in present tense because is is there. Yeah. Uh, you can translate in present tense because is is there. Okay, brothers and sisters. We are going to have a lot of questions in the Dars to further uh, give us a better understanding of the concept, inshallah. Number three. Raghbatan fil ilm la rahbatan min al intihan. What kind of a la is this? Huh? This is la is like harfu atfin. Huh? But you see, wow has not been used. Okay? Raghbatan fil ilm means out of love for the knowledge. La rahbatan min al imtihan. Not out of fear of examination. So we can sometimes use la as harfu atfin. More examples are coming, inshallah. This la is a conjunction. La al atifatu. It is used in an Affirmative sentence. Remember, used in affirmative sentence. Hmm? Not in negation. Or one containing an amar. There are two conditions. It should be an amar, command, or it should be an affirmative sentence. Example, brothers and sisters. Kharaja. Kharaja bilalun. La hamidun. Huh? Okay, kharaja bilalun. La hamidun. Bilal went out, not hamid. Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, the question. This was an affirmative sentence. Now, an amar. Is alil mudira la al mudarrisa? Ask the headmaster. Not the teacher. Did you get the idea, brother and sister? Amar. Is alil mudira? Ask the headmaster. La al mudari sa. And do not ask the teacher. 